We got our first, we got our first fish. Been set up for five minutes, not even done setting up yet. Might be on there still. Might have came off as he's swimming towards me. I heard him pulling a little bit of drag. Oh no, he's still there. He just swimming towards me. First pump. Little boy, not gonna be a keeper. I mean, he's a decent pump, not tournament worthy. Probably 12 incher. He's 13 inch pump. That ain't bad. That's a nice pompano. But we're not keeping fish today. So this guy's going back. Somebody else can catch him some other day. All right, day number three of the Pompano Showdown 2023. Just got out here. We had a rain delay this morning. We had that big storm come in last night. Just getting set up. I already got my first Pompano. I'm old trusty Daiwa. Hopefully that's a sign that today's gonna be a good day catching fish. Oh, we had a fish on. Maybe get to him in time. Maybe. Oh no, he's a little guy. Ah, oh, look at that little whiting. So we did have a fish on. This little whiting. Settle down, little fella. Little guy. Looks like a little whiting, and I think he just came off. Nasty catfish. And he's all wrapped up in my He's all wrapped up in my line too. Nasty catfish, get out of here. All right guys, I know we always talk about troughs and cuts and bars and holes and all the stuff when we're talking about reading the beach i'm going to show you guys what some of this stuff looks like in person so right in front of me there's a nice little trough and i'm going to walk out into it so i'm going to show you how deep it is so right off the sand it drops off and i'm already up to my knees it's a shallow trough and i'm coming up i'm about up to my waist and i'm going to take you guys out to the first bar I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. You can always tell where the bar is at because that's where the waves are going to be breaking. The force of the waves hits that shallow water or that shallow sand and it starts breaking. So I'm going to walk up here on it. And as you can see, I'm already starting to get back to where my knees are at. Let this wave go by. And I'm probably in about a foot of water right here. Look at this.
almost just standing in about a foot of water. There it is. And then right behind that is the deeper stuff. So when we're talking about casting out past the first bar, we're talking about going right over into that darker water. We're talking about casting into the trough. We're talking about casting right down here in this stuff. So yeah, I guess it's, uh, I want to show you that it's a little bit better than pointing it out from the beach. Get in the water and let you guys see what it looks like. Maybe that guy would tell me where the good holes are at. We've been out here for three days looking for Pompano to fish in this Pompano tournament. Just as I'm trying to make a video, old freaking Redbeard has to go and steal the show and catch another freaking fish. Maybe. I think he's full of it. nothing as i was saying day three of sitting in the sun baking midday fishing where we don't catch nothing oh red beard no longer called red beard he's now sebastian oh God. he's sebastian from the little mermaid <laughs> red red is hat i said you're red like sebastian from the little mermaid <laughs> listen rob i don't have no pigment in my skin okay I'm a ginger. Okay, uh, deformity. What am I called? I'm called a... Um, Gen genetic defect? Yeah, a genetic mutation, okay, <laughs> Rob? I don't have no pigmentation. I get burnt easily, okay? Uh, Gingers ginger. have souls. <laughs> Gingers do not have souls. Yes, we don't, do, Rob. Don't let them fool you. Anyways, we got about another two hours out here, and then we're going to go weigh in. Pretty sure the amber has a pretty good shot at that trophy whiting. But all the pompano we've been catching have been all 12, 13, 14 inches. Just not going to do it. Maybe in the next two hours. We'll see. Highly doubt it. That's it. I'm done. You guys are at the weigh in. All these people weighing in some fish. Somebody's going to be the lucky winner. But I'm also here with Cliff. So He's some green go get him rigs. He's the man behind the rig that we were using all weekend to catch our pompano. At least what he was using to catch all the pompano. I was, I was just watching. But these are the rigs he's using. This is his station. Just neon green beads. And these rigs that he, that he ties. Yeah, they were pretty awesome rigs. Yeah, they worked out great for us. Yes, I got all my bumping on. That's a beautiful one. So I used to use floats, but after this weekend, I don't know if I'm going to use a lot of floats anymore. I'm just going to go either straight, straight hook rigs, or at least with a couple beads on them. Two white, yeah, works. It does work a lot. It's awesome. My favorite. Good. Less is more. Less is more. That's what I was telling you guys earlier. That less is more even. Even with your bait that you put on, you don't want a big old oh, hunk of bait. Dude. Less is more. So, all right, we're gonna check this place Whatever. out. We're gonna let you guys know who wins. It's definitely yeah, not me I because I ain't weighing nothing in today. <laughs> but it's That's gonna a be a great time, anyways. Oh, so Redbeard, he's got the winning. He's got the winning pump though. I just lost the circle. I'm about to steal Justin Reed's cooler. You go talk to him, distract him, and grab the cooler. Hey, Justin. Ooh. 4.68! There it is! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Absolutely crushed by almost a pound and a half. Sid Little with your biggest pop it up, 4.68 pounds. Dude! Absolute monster! 4.68, Sid Little. So you get to go over and pick out which rod you want. I can tell you which one I'd like. <laughs> you don't you don't need any help, dude. That is amazing. Look at this. He gets the first place plaque. Oh look look at that. The fishing surfer, the remote control. I mean and fifteen hundred bucks, you guys. Cash. That's uh what like thirty five hundred dollars worth of stuff? That's pretty good. Pretty good day fishing. All right. Good work, man. Second. Okay. Never take any fishing again. Pick a rod. Pick a rod. Oh man. 
Donnie, I am so. This guy comes down here from Indiana to fish in all the tournaments. Yeah. Ready to go, brother. Ray. What's the last one? Unreal. Eleven dagger, twelve dagger, and a twelve oh. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. No pressure. There you go. Nice, Donnie. What'd you do, OTB? OTB. Nice, man. Mark. Pick your prize tag. With the hot rods. Good job. So you have. Okay. Donnie, congratulations, man. Unbelievable. That's crazy. Oh, warm, fuzzy feeling. Again, that guy just lives for this surf fishing scene down there. He talks about it all year. He's got a, you know, he's got a wife, kids. Pick your prize. Works his butt off. All his vacations come down here to fish. Get the cooler. Get the cooler. How's that work? Thank you. Tell you what, that pompano caught. You caught a sink hey, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen him in person. That's a few angles, though. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Merry. <laughs>